Moonshot Institute professional development workshops are powerful, authentic learning experiences designed with educators' needs in mind. Not only will participants leave with highly engaging, dynamic tools and strategies that they can turn right around and implement and use in the classroom, they become part of a growing professional learning community that is dedicated to achieving higher standards and deeper learning for all students. But don't just take it from me. Hear it straight from the mouths of people who participated. The Learning Alliance professional development is changing everything. It's giving us freedom, it's giving us time, it's allowing us to use our creativity and, and the ways that we know we can express things to our students. The strategies I use from the Learning Alliance are phenomenal. They it totally engaged the students at every level of the lesson plans to, to get them interested in the text, to have them exploring the text, to, um, to creating their own material. I come want to learn strategies that I can share with our staff and our teachers in professional development and then hopefully they'll use them in the classroom, but also to hear what they're hearing so that I can support what they're trying in the classroom and they feel like it's a safe environment. Also for me, since I'm the media specialist, I see all the grade levels, so what we're learning here meets all their needs. I mean, it's, it's the creative, it's the hands-on part of it, it's all different aspects of their learning styles, so everything I learn here, I can incorporate. The Learning Alliance is committed to creating literate, compassionate, creative citizens who will improve our world. Are you ready to join the journey and go on an adventure in literacy? For more information, you can visit www.moonshotinstitute.info. We can't wait to see you there. Why are we here today? We are here because our Moonshot mission is to create passionate, literate, creative citizens who will change our world. We believe that the way to do that is through enriched literacy. This idea that literacy is more than just reading and writing, it's about teaching kids those foundational skills that they need to know to be able to read and succeed. But it's also about creating the conditions, the social emotional conditions in which that can happen and giving them authentic reasons to apply that learning. What is learning for if not to do something with it? And what I liked about today's um, Moonshot Institute was the fact that we got to go outside and use our senses and collect words of the things we saw, the things we touched, things we felt, and things we heard, and then bringing it in and breaking it up into nouns, verbs, adjectives, which really, and then finally putting all those words into a poem. So it felt like it was my own words that I had collected to build something that I don't really like to do when that's writing poems. So I felt it gave me success, so if it gave me success, I think kids can get success from that. My favorite part was how nicely the lesson was scaffolded. So we started with the social emotional components and then we went into building those foundational skills for the students. Um, being outside was awesome, I totally love that, and then getting to apply those pieces. I was amazed how we can take a unit plan and tie it so well with real world situations so we can educate our kids not only through reading and writing but we can tell them this is what's going on in the world having the uh, ability to say to themselves I want to do something to change the world. I've really enjoyed the Moonshot Academy as a teacher I've been able to help the students make real world connections through the text and the um, Institute and Professional Development has really equipped us to do that effectively, get the students engaged, and we've just learned so many strategies to make it an enjoyable experience for not only the kids, but for us as teachers as well. The Moonshot Institutes are valuable to me as a professional because I like using all the tools that I gain here in the programs within my classroom because it gives the kids a lot more hands-on and explorations in their learning. I want to say thank you to the Learning Alliance, the school district, and the donors who contribute together. They make this possible, so thank you very much. So why are we here and what are we doing? We are all about this moonshot moment, this moonshot mission vision of how do we create compassionate, creative, literate citizens who improve our world. Because we believe all of those things go hand in hand and that's what's going to make the difference. So that's you and that's you with your students, right? That's 
every one of us together. So the theme for this year's series of workshops is this idea of how do we, we want to create a passionate community that supports risk-taking, perseverance, and adventure. Having been out of the classroom for such a long period of time and being a leader, the aha for me was really that foundational literacy. Um, I you know, have been a leader, but coming to these institutes really helps me reconnect with what the students require so that way I can support the teachers in the classrooms and understand what they're going through as teachers in order to build a better experience for kids. I really like the, our, our slogan, the see it, be it, feel it. I found so many times, especially with just giving them an opportunity to use motions to help them ground that information to give the correct answer is so beneficial to them. So it was really powerful for me this morning when uh, the teachers were asked to write down the name of a student that they might be struggling with, to sit and to think about that student and to write the name down. And then they took that name and they crumpled up the piece of paper and they threw it up in the air. And every teacher then picked up a piece of paper from a, of another student. It was a student that may not be in their classroom. And they were asked to make a commitment to serve every student in this school district with the same amount of heart that they would that student in their classroom, that they're all our students. We had Liz Remington giving a little uh, demonstration on the, the brain and how we process information and that it's very difficult for students and adults to process information. So it's really important to break reading down into very small pieces, starting with phonics um, and uh, letter recognition and to continue to build on that and try to give every child an opportunity to receive that information, process that information, and later become a stronger reader. Today, one of the things that was awesome was when we did the match.com, where we had the pieces, like the word study, because I do word study in my classroom. And so the children usually take the words and glue them, sort them in their notebooks. But today, they have the opportunity to have pieces to make the words and then actually sort their bodies and get up and move was just doing the same thing but in a movement way where the kids can get up and go around the room and do it in a whole group. I hope that teachers take away from today the fact that they have the freedom to use these tools in their classroom to connect students with their text, to really raise children and create citizens that love to read and want to share that with other people. We're always looking for something new to train teachers in or to uh, reach students because all students are uh, in different areas, they have different background experiences, they come from different environments and it's our job as educational leaders to find what uh, makes sense to students and how we can help them connect to literacy. Thank you so much to the Lonely Alliance, Indian River County Schools, the donors that have provided all these opportunities, materials and personnel to us. We are very fortunate to have it. Today is really about helping you improve your craft, to give you more tools in your toolbox, a different way to teach the material. You're going to have all kinds of different uh, learning experiences today for you that hopefully can translate to new learning experiences for your students. Especially being a student teacher, I'm still learning a bunch of things in the classroom and coming to this really gives me my resources that I need so when I have my own classroom, I'll be able to say, oh, last year I remember, you know, going to the Learning Alliance Professional Development and they really taught me how to be able to teach it to my students. I found in my college classes that they do hit these points, but I feel like it's a big picture and coming to these really narrows it down and gives you the specific examples that you need to be successful in your classroom and to help your students, you know, high students, low students, learn what they need to in the year. As a school leader, professional development is always first and foremost on our minds. We're trying to figure out what our teachers need and how do we get it to them. And so that's where the Learning Alliance has really helped us step up and be able to facilitate what our teachers need and in turn what our students need. When our teachers come here, they're getting those research-based strategies uh, to help teach those standards in the classroom. And the kids are engaged, and the teachers have like a sparkle in their eye. This professional development has just been, you know, invaluable to our teachers and to us because it's helping with what our district is doing in the, you know, in our classrooms and in our schools. And so it's really adding another layer of professional development that we couldn't otherwise provide. 
first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to all the supporters, the donors, the sponsors, and all the teachers and everyone that makes this possible. I'm always looking forward to the next training for Moonshot um, because every time I'm here, I always learn something new and I take it back to my classroom. So I'm so looking forward to the next training. So what we're going to do is first, everybody introduce themselves to somebody and switch names. Let's see, Jeff. How was that? Just generally, how was it? Fun. I'm Lucy. So the reason I signed up for this workshop and I love this morning session is because um, I really like the idea of, of being vulnerable and the poetry that kind of comes out of that. And I thought that that would be awesome to learn and to gain this experience of uh, working um, with the Learning Alliance and to kind of get that training so I can take it back to my classroom and help the kids discover their vulnerabilities. Um, and I also teach language arts, so the poetry is near and dear to my heart. So to try to, this looked like it would be a great opportunity to see both of those in action. Um, and it's really been that. It's really been fantastic like that. Three or four, your second sentence. You take any word you want to be your keyword, put it in box number two. Your third sentence, any word you want to be your keyword, put it in box number three. Same number four. Who loves knowledge? A fighter, learner, guide. The biggest takeaway from this morning's session was the ability to um, express ourselves through poetry and hear others of how they feel about themselves and who they are as a teacher and educator. The best of times are full of laughter, cracking up till the face hurts after. Number two, you have to follow number one using this sound. All right? Now, the key is, okay, now listen, we're all about compassion, so number one, you have to protect number two. You have to make sure that number two isn't bumping in anything. Is it, is it? <laughs> I knew she was afraid to close her eyes, so I had to be close to her and in her ear to have her well, trust you me. Down. You face her. Y'all clap. <laughs> we, got, we got these two. We got these two synced up right here. Today's workshop drew me because of the um, compassion and the need to get students involved with their whole selves, involved in the classroom, make a connection between who they are and what they're learning so that they can make it work for them. A lot of all students spend that opportunity. I'm, I'm constantly looking for professional development to get all of our teachers to the level of the student's capacity so of learning what that verbiage is and why kids, the action they take at educating our um, you know, our adults on why that is. The and process of making their thinking visible and, and the scaffolding that goes into a unit to get to that final project is just as important as documenting the final project. Um, one of the neatest things about this workshop is that we have an opportunity to share and collaborate with teachers. You know, we have all these wonderful um, minds throughout our district and we don't get to get together that often. We just started this past week the Moonshot Academy at Citrus Elementary. So after school, we're working with a lot of our struggling readers in, in first grade and struggling second graders. And um, I'm doing the enrichment piece where we're doing the performance cycle. So I was looking for more ideas and um, things that I can use with the students so that they can do more things that are outside the box and use their creativity and um, be able to enter the text and um, comprehend text from a different way than they usually do. I participate in anything TLA professional development wise because it is so important um, to bring what they have into our classrooms. It is amazing. I'm That's loud. Loud.